Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel, and we're back at PDAC 2023 with an interesting company called uh, Geophysics Jamaica. And I'm here with uh, Bobby Stewart and uh, Mike Thompson. And uh, it's an interesting uh, private company, uh, but you know we like to bring things early here to Investor Intel. Uh, and Geophysics Jamaica, as the name would have it, would be looking at uh, exploration projects in Jamaica. Maybe Bobby, you can go and talk a little bit about that. Sure. Um, so we started five years ago uh, with a full-scale regional program across the, the country. And we did about 40,000 assays, uh, all from labs in Canada, certified labs. And during that campaign of mapping the geochemical makeup of the island, we discovered some anomalous areas that we've set down licenses on. So we currently have about 4,000 square kilometers of license in the island. But along the way, a couple of years ago, we found a big anomaly, about 100 square kilometers for rare earths, which we didn't expect. And um, that has become the discovery we announced a week or two ago. Um, and it's about 50 million tons. It's about 42% heavies, and the rest is lights. And uh, it's got some great potential that Mike will talk about. Yeah. I mean, the discovery is a classic exploration discovery, mineral exploration discovery. Bobby covered the entire island with a very detailed surface geochemical soil survey. From the results of that information, these anomalies have emerged. He has some copper gold anomalies in certain parts of the island. But what is most interesting at this point for us is that a very large, very consistent rare earth element anomaly emerged in the southwestern corner of the island. It covered 100 square kilometers. Now that is a significant anomaly. Um, in exploration, if you have a couple square kilometers of anomalous gold or copper or rare earths, that's, that's not bad. 100 square kilometers is amazing. So Bobby followed up and did exactly what needs to be done in the next stage of exploration. He brought his drill rig to bear. He drilled out this anomaly with 44 well, different holes. So far, 44 holes. 44 holes. And uh, it, it defined what we have now in the subsurface. And now this is near subsurface, from surface down to, oh, let's say 20 meters or so. And what we have found, what we've discovered in that drilling program is very consistent, very uniform, very laterally extensive, and vertically uniform, rare earth element mineralization. It's, it's really amazing. Now, the timing of this discovery is excellent because as you probably are aware, Chris, rare earth elements around the world right now are taking center stage. Every government wants secure supplies of rare earth, especially, I'm from the US, especially the United States government. Um, so the fact that we've made a new rare earth discovery and again, it was announced only 10 days ago. The industry is, was really not aware of it prior to 10 days ago. A significant discovery. It's not a small one. It, this thing is going to be large when we fully define the extent of it. Um, but it's on the doorstep of the U.S. And that's very important. And a lot of different, both U.S. government agencies and U.S. companies are now taking note of what we have. And they're watching us very closely. Now, Jamaica is known for vacation land. but. It has a, a mining industry from before. I, I know from, uh, you have bo at least bauxite. So there are, it's not an anomalous to have minerals in Jamaica. Um, how deep did you drill originally for this deposit? Well, so it's funny because I, I did 30 years in hotels beforehand and bauxite has probably been around 50 or 60 years at least. Yeah. And it's definitely been an earner for the island. The hard rock minerals, there was a lot of small scale mining before 1849, mm -hmm. and then everybody in the island left for California. Yeah. So it died and never came back. So that's what we're trying to revive. The, the drilling that we did in the area of the discovery, uh, really and truly, we were just testing to see what the extent was right. and how deep it was and whether it was truly uniform. Um, the material because the surface samples can be misleading so we wanted to validate that and and so far it's done really good we are going to be bringing in this year a sonic drill so that we can go a lot deeper in some of the areas um, not all the holes hit the basement um, but of the holes that hit the basement we have an average depth of just under 20 meters yeah, yeah. so and, and it's very important, I think, to make the point that Jamaica has a real long history of bauxite mining. Yeah, 50, and 60, good regulations. 70 years, good regulations. The, the understanding of the mining industry is also very good. The deposit that we've discovered of rare earths, it's in a similar geologic profile horizon rock type. 
It's in a surficial, what we call bauxitic laterite. So it's the surface material uh, that's mineralized, right on the surface. That's very, very similar to the bauxite mines that have been in operation for many, many years throughout Jamaica. So the, uh, the characteristics of this ore are very well known. Um, and we can utilize that information as we develop a plan to advance our project. And the skill sets for mining it exactly. are already Very there. good point, Bobby. Very good point. What sort of rare earths did you find in this drill results? Do you have like the details? Uh, we do, absolutely. I mean, we, uh, we assay every meter of our drill holes and um, for a full set of 63 element uh, geochemistry. Yeah. So we know everything about them. The suite of rare earth elements that we have found uh, obviously include neodymium and praseodymium. Um, but also dysprosium and terbium. It's actually slightly enriched in dysprosium and terbium, which is good. Approximately 40% of the total rare earth uh, component of our discovery is what are called heavies. Now the heavy rare earths are those most important, most critical, and most valuable of the full suite of 15 elements that comprise the rare earth suite. And this is important because agents, government agencies, companies, everybody around the world is scrambling for sources of these critical minerals, of these, especially the heavies. And there's not a lot of sources around the world that are, that are emerging, that are new. There's a number of old projects out there that people are looking at and trying to develop, but our new project is, you know, we're putting Jamaica on the map. The project is new and different and unique. This, this style of mineralization really isn't found anywhere else in the world. This project is unique. And the fact that it's on the doorstep of the U.S., mm -hmm. A lot of companies are really beginning to pay attention to us and we're quite excited about that. Well, I've been here for two days and every session I've been to have talked about critical minerals or critical metals, metals and so it's, it's, it's coming to the, fo the forefront itself. Um, for this year, what are you planning to do? To I know you're a private company, so you don't have to entertain investors, but what are you, what are you gonna do to advance the project? We're, we're gonna make more announcements. Yeah. <laughs> so I also view copper as being becoming even more critical. Okay. And we just started drilling on Friday at a um, copper gold porphyry that we also discovered. And it's about a two kilometer by two kilometer lithocap. Uh, we've flown some mobile MT over it. Uh, we've, we've just gotten to about 30 meters so far, but we've, we're into the good rock. We have about 23% copper and uh, up to 32 grams of gold. Wow. So that announcement is not far away. We didn't get some more assays. Yeah. And uh, so again, Bobby's regional island-wide geochemical program, these things are emerging that yeah. they weren't known before. A rare earth discovery has emerged from that data set and now some copper and gold, very interesting looking projects. I, you know, I'm an old time copper gold guy and I've worked on projects around the world. Some of those targets that are emerging are very interesting. We but have the five rare earth, more projects behind that. Yeah, oh, there's, there's more. So, <laughs> but the rare earth project really is a bona fide discovery for yeah. us right now. A company to watch this year then is going to be Geophysics Jamaica. And so hopefully our investor intels and uh, people will be at the forefront of that uh, Having of fun that in Jamaica. Yeah, having fun <laughs> in Jamaica. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Chris.